March 2020, we really thought lockdown would only last for two weeks, but now here we are, one year later, and the pandemic is still not over. Now, a lot of things have changed in my life this year. First of all, I graduated from high school. Although it wasn't your typical graduation ceremony, but at least I got to say goodbye to my teachers and to the people I've spent 12 years with, although I wasn't able to hug them or even get closer to them. I haven't seen most of my friends since that day. We weren't there for each other when each one of us got accepted to college. I was so excited to start this new chapter of my life. I mean, I'm a college student now. I felt like I was unstoppable. But we are still learning online. And the worst part is, I don't know how my teachers look like. I don't know how it feels like to walk into the hallway of your college with pride because you're an adult now. I have become friends with people that if it wasn't for the social medias, I also don't know how they look like. I have never thought that this is how my college experience will be, but things don't always go as planned. I'm coping pretty well. We resumed school a while ago and um, it has been stressful, but we're just trying to retrieve back what we lost during the quarantine and catch up with our current syllabus. I've been seeing my classmates and teachers for a while now, since November, basically every weekday. As of right now, I would say that the worst thing about not being in school is the amount of work that you miss. Because as we all know, learning behind the screen and learning in person is incomparable. The virus has influenced all of us. The thing is that we, the teenagers, have become absolutely different people. So the future of our world has changed as well. Young people are going to build future reality as adults do it now. All of the Russian students were moved to an online study. Needless to say, it was a rough year for all of us. I mean, a lot of my friends were struggling with a little depressive mood. They were missing their friends and teachers. So did I. I guess the worst thing was that we couldn't share our love in real life. We were deprived of an ability to give hugs and kisses to the people we love the most. Soy maestro de educación preescolar en el Jardín de Niños Ignacio Manuel Tamirano, el cual se encuentra en la ciudad de Monterrey, del estado de Nuevo León, México. El contacto ha sido positivo y negativo. Negativo por el hecho de no poder vivenciar cada momento de los alumnos, pero positivo porque nos dimos la oportunidad de explorar nuevos métodos de enseñanza que han enriquecido al alumno y sobre todo a las personas ajenas a nuestra profesión le han encontrado valor y dificultad con lo que se ejerce. It has been a year since the online learning began in Indonesia. When the pandemic started, I was a year 11 student. Now I'm preparing to get into university. The past one year has been really hard and tiring for me. I'm sure most students would feel the same. At the beginning, it was really hard. Most of us were unprepared and didn't expect any of the situation. Not being at school for almost a year made me somewhat lose the chemistry between school and student. It's very hard to explain. I only have seen my friend in person twice since the pandemic happened. It was a really quick meeting and we follow all of the health protocols. This semester will be my last semester in that school, so in fact, I'm really sad. It seems like I don't have enough memories and stories with the teacher and my friends. However, we need to keep fighting. There are a lot of lessons learned we've got from this situation, so we need to stay motivated. Um, we've been all fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic for a year, and schools have closed all around the world and have now opened partially in Hong Kong. And we've been learning online for the past year and teachers have gave me good guidance so I can learn and work online. And the worst part is I don't get to get a full day or see my friends. And I do miss my teachers and friends a lot.